the 23rd of March. It's the Grits and Glamour Tour, and we are pleased to have as our guest this morning, Lori Morgan. Good morning, Lori. Good morning. How are you? I'm excellent. Well, now I am. I, well, good. I've been waiting for this all morning long. Thank you. We're going to talk about the tour and your collaboration with Pam Tillis in just a moment. But uh, for all the people who are hoping that I was going to go and go straight after the dirt, I am going to ask you a grand total of one question having to do uh, with, you know, your personal history. And that is with everything that you've gone through. And for those of you out there who don't know what she's gone through, you can Google it. Okay. I don't, you know, (laughs) I just want to know how all of those experiences have helped your development as an artist well i think you're not sure that it's helping when it's when it's actually happening at the time but uh you know looking back hindsight um you know i'm not a quitter i'm a survivor and you know unfortunately um the relationships i'd been in um they they made me stronger in in every single way um you know, they, they just, uh, they gave me that extra push to say, you know what, I'm going to survive this and I'm going to, um, I'm going to pull myself up by my bootstraps. I'm going to record the best songs. I'm going to record songs that I can relate to that hopefully will help other women who are going through abusive rape relationships and, uh, hard times. Hopefully what I sing about will help them as well. I want to talk about one of the songs that you recorded in the earlier stages of your career. Uh, the, the great thing, and one of the things people love about country music, is how believable it is. But you did one song that I found really unbelievable. Uh, that would have been the, the Out of Your Shoes song. The, the gist is, of course, you and your girlfriend were going out for the evening, and then the guy picks the other woman. What? Come on. <laughs> give me a break. Oh, he's a smart man. <laughs> he was a smart man. Uh, that was that was a that was a great song. I loved that song, and and of course one of my uh, best girlfriends did that video with me. Uh, she, we actually did a literal video to that song, mm-hmm. and um, and right here, and um, the RCA decided not to do a literal video, and. Uh, Aww. Uh, we just ended up doing like a studio performance shot. Get us a paper towel, sweetie. And uh, so anyway, uh, the song, while being uh, what it talks about, we actually did, like I said, the video um, was he, she really did get the guy. <laughs> That's outrageous. I, <laughs> I suppose we better get talking about the Grits and Glamour tour. First of all, uh, take us back a ways. Uh, how, would, how did you and Pam Tillis first meet? Uh, well, we, we met a long time ago on the Grits and Glamour, I'm sorry, not Grits and Glamour, the um, uh, Craft. Uh, we, we toured together with Carlene Carter mm-hmm. um, in the 90s and did the Craft Tour. Uh, so, but that was kind of when we were, we were having our big careers, all of us, you know, and we were making all kinds of stupidly great money and you know we all had our own bus and um we kind of passed in the night um and we didn't really get to know each other and then i got a call from (laughs) he's excited to see me and then i got a call from pam a couple years ago wanting to go to lunch and uh she suggested that we team up together and we do an acoustic show and condense our bands and condense ourselves down to one bus and save ourselves a lot of money and still make great music and go out there and do something that nobody in country music is doing. No girls um, are doing it anyway. And so um, I agreed to it. And without knowing how good it would go over, it has gone over extremely well. We've had sold-out crowds. The people like the idea of it being grits and glamour, where we can be (laughs) as... Uh, dress down or dress up um, and we've really gotten to know each other really well and and have really become very dear friends well in what ways are you similar and maybe in what ways are you different Uh, similar well we're both very hard workers we're both um, mothers wives Uh, we both run our businesses Uh, we both are you know children of um, you know, legends, and 
I think in ways that we're we're different is that I have I I, I take a lot of time um, for my family and friends mm-hmm. and uh, not that she doesn't but she just she's more work uh, workhorse than I am she's she's more you know dedicated to the the work world versus you know saying you know what I'm gonna quit for the day and go have some wine with my girlfriends or something you know she's she's very she's work oriented 